Tampa, for as much as Captain Steven Stamkos jokes he's a playmaker now, let's not forget one thing, related news archive. Lightning Journal, Steven Stamkos looks like man on a mission, with video, one month ago. Lightning edges Red Wings on road. One week ago. Lightning Journal, Steven Stamkos, Nikita Kucherov happy to be together again. One month ago. The superstar still has one heck of a shot. The Red Wings knew this, of course, yet there was Stamkos in Thursday night's 3-2 win, wide open in his trademark power play home, the left circle. For years he has been the Lightning's number one option with the man advantage, opponents doing all they can to take him out. But with Nikita Kucherov, the hottest player in the league, in the opposite circle, Detroit had to pick its poison. Four Red Wings converged on Kucherov, who found Stamkos for a one-timer into an empty net. The look on Dylan Larkin's face said it all, the exasperated Red Wings forward flipping his head up to the ceiling in frustration. Related, Joe Smith's takeaways from Thursday's Lightning Red Wings game. Tampa Bay's franchise best 9-1-1 start has been fueled by many things, including the league's top-ranked power play, which has six goals in the past three games. Teams are going to have to decide who they want to overplay, Stamko said. They've at times overplayed me and Kutch has been able to walk in and shoot. That play, against the Red Wings, they overplayed him, and I got an open net off a great pass. The power play has been clicking so far and it's a reason we're on a roll. Kucherov and Stamkos tied Marty St. Louis for the franchise's longest season opening point streak at 11 games. Kucherov racked up his league-leading 12th goal, also on the power play. The Red Wings have to be wondering, how the heck do we beat these guys? This was Tampa Bay's ninth straight win over the Atlantic Division rivals, but coach John Cooper said this one was night and day different from the Lightning's 3-2 win in Detroit a few weeks ago. In that game, at the new Little Old Caesars Arena, the Red Wings likely deserved a better fate, at least a point. Related, Alex Killern gives puck possession clinic. But despite the Red Wings taking a 1-0 lead in this game, the Lightning was the better team. Detroit opened the scoring with a shorthanded two-on-one goal by Franz Nielsen. That was sparked by a turnover by Stamkos, who tried to force a cross-zone pass to Kucherov. Stamkos has said that with Kucherov so hot, he has a tendency to try to get him the puck. Kucherov got his chance a few minutes after Detroit scored, ripping a wrist shot past goalie Jimmy Howard, who was screened by Vladislav Nemesnikov. We were just trying to create chances off their mistakes, Kucherov said. We use them, and it's been good so far. That was enough for goalie Andre Vasilevsky, who picked up his eighth straight win, having started 10 of the Lightning's 11 games. He said he wasn't perfect, but the Lightning will take this type of 29-save effort every night. Vasilevsky has a penchant for timely saves, and he made big stops on Henrik Zetterberg in the first period, and a point-blank saved on Andreev Safanasiu with a few minutes left in the second, preserving a 1-1 tie. I got lucky, Vasilevsky said.